Before we get started on this job, let's talk about the importance of a timing belt and what it does. The purpose of a timing belt is to keep the relationship between the top half of the engine and the bottom half of the engine in sync. So in other words, there is a very specific relationship between the camshafts and the crankshaft at the bottom of the engine. The camshafts are turning at the top, they're opening and closing the valves at a very specific time in relationship to the bottom half of the engine. The bottom half of the engine is connected by connecting rods to the pistons. Those pistons are moving up and down, and then the valves are opening and closing on top of the pistons on this particular engine. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to have those pistons moving up and contacting the open valves and there is not enough clearance for that. And that's what makes this an interference engine. Not all engines are interference engines. Some of them have plenty of clearance. The piston could be all the way at the very top, what we call top dead center. The valves could be all the way open and they'll never make contact with each other. And that's what we call a non-interference engine. There's lots of engines that are like that. If you break a timing belt on those kinds of cars, the worst that happens is the car stops running You'll have it towed into the shop, we'll take it apart, put a new belt on it, put it back together, everything will be working fine again. When you have a car like this that has an interference engine, that just means there's no clearance between open valves and a piston all the way at top dead center. So at some point, if the relationship is lost between those parts, the piston will contact the valves, it'll bend the valves, it could break a valve head off, it could crack a piston, it could do some damage to the rings, all those things are possibilities. Either way, you're almost guaranteed to bend some valves on there. We're looking at pulling the engine apart, doing a full complete valve job on it and hopefully that's all the damage that we find while we've got it apart so it's really important if you've got a vehicle that has an interference engine that you're taking care of this service at the recommended time and interval